Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So um, if you'll notice, I have a microphone now. Uh, I've gotten some uh, complaints regarding the sound quality. I'm also filming today off of my Chromebook, uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to share with you uh, a weird, crazy, very long, very detailed dream I had. I'm gonna try to keep it short. Um, and just kind of give you the the highlights of it so i hope you enjoy it so i had this dream um it took place about you know 30 years in the future from now about 2050 2060 somewhere around there and um in the dream i was a about 30 some odd year old uh lady and uh me and my husband were buying a new apartment and we bought a new apartment sight unseen for some reason i don't know why um and the apartment was in a mall from what i gather from the dream in the future um uh, some mall old malls uh have been converted into part living quarters part um it's still part mall so uh, we show up to the mall, uh, we meet the mall manager, uh, the entrance was by security and by the food court. So uh, we get the key, we get led to our new place and it's like, here you go, you know, congratulations. And uh, so we go on in, we check out our accommodations, it's nice and everything, it's all good, except we go looking for this advertised patio because uh, it had said that there's a, a patio where you can enjoy um, barbecue um, and uh, eating al fresco, right? And so we were a little confused because we didn't see anything on the outside of the mall, which would indicate a patio. So sure enough, what it was is the apartment that we had purchased backed um, out the back door there was a kind of service hallway that led out to a uh, food court and the food court had a, a lovely open air concept with uh, skylights so apparently um, yeah that's what uh, they were passing off as a patio area and uh, I was saying to my husband, it's like, well, this isn't going to work. And what the heck is this? And we shouldn't be paying uh, X number of dollars for just using the food court. And, and so we were going to go talk to the mall manager. But anyways, uh, the dream kind of fast forwards. Um, we had been there for a little while and um, kind of the mall residents were all abuzz because a new person was moving in. And it was a former celebrity, so everybody was uh, was kind of excited. And the celebrity, it turned out being, was uh, Chris Hemsworth. Um, for those of you that maybe don't know, he plays Thor. Um, anyways, so the gentleman arrives, and he's you know significantly older than he is today, uh, because again, my dream takes place in the future. And he's in a wheelchair. Apparently the background is that uh, while filming one of his movies, um, Chris was hurt uh, in an, an accident. Um, supposedly he recovered from it. However, he uh, got addicted to painkillers um, going through recovery. And um, as a result of the drug use, um, his spouse left, his you know, career ended. Uh, it was a very, very sad, very tragic thing. And what wound up happening is he stopped using the hardcore drugs or hardcore pain meds. Um, but he developed a psychological block to using his legs. Um, so he became wheelchair bound and an alcoholic. So he had, he was still living off ro royalties, um, from various movies, um, you know, that he had done in the past. So he moved into the mall, you know, he was, um, just kind of, kind of miserable. <laughs> so, 
And, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad when he wasn't drinking, but just very, you know, you could tell that there was psychological damage and, and the guy needed help. Um, but of course you can't force someone to get help. So, um, in the dream, my husband and I decided to, you know, be, be as nice and, and, you know, kind to him as we can be, uh, you know, while still protecting ourselves. Um, because yeah, he could get a little feisty, a little surly when he was drinking and, uh, yeah, the other residents kind of tired of him quickly because, you know, oh, he's just just a washed up drunk and uh we were my husband and I were more along, along the lines of like no like this guy's hurting he's obviously hurting so we're just gonna be as nice to him as as we can be within reason and uh anyways you know things were were just happening everybody's living their lives and uh one day there started there was this new mannequin um so in the dream what happened is I stopped being my character and um, I saw this beam of light come down and this kind of slightly off looking mannequin um, materialize. And the mannequin kind of beamed right into a, a store window. And uh, the mannequin was normal mannequin color, kind of a grayish putty color but it had these really cool uh kind of blue lines throughout it so like there was like a, a jaw line um that was a blue uh, and there was a shoulder line that was uh blue and things like that so where the joints were um little character details and of course the eyes were blue and they all kind of had this iridescent glow to them so that was cool um but like I said, in the dream, it was this like beam of light that just made this mannequin appear. So, you know, weird mannequin. That's fine. Um, the dream progresses and um, staff in the mall and various other residents in the mall, they stop kind of, well, the staff stopped going home and everybody wanted to stay at the mall. And residents at the mall that are starting to notice, you know, people that i had been neighbors with for a while, um, suddenly had like this personality change. It wasn't that they were, um, you know, suddenly mean or anything. It just, um, yeah, they were just, they were just off in little ways, little quirky ways. And, uh, yeah, it was just kind of getting weird because some of the mall employees started to sleep at the mall, even though they didn't have accommodations at the mall. And, um, so anyways, just, just some weirdness going on. Um, things still progressed in the dream. And then, uh, what wound up happening is some of the mall folks that were actually renting living quarters in the mall they moved out and some of the mall employees just moved in and um some of the mall employees would get together in the evening and you know me and my husband we just kind of figured it's uh you know they work together uh, you know they see each other so and they're younger people so they're just you know having a little get together no big deal so one day chris uh wheels up to us and he's just distraught uh and he's saying that the mannequin is alive and it's taking over people and of course by this time we're like yeah okay yeah mannequin yeah a mannequin's alive and it's taking over people um yeah yeah go have another drink right like how much have you had to drink come on you, let, let's get you some coffee and sober you up so, but he was adamant and he was saying that, no, it's like they had old movies, um, the invasion of the body snatchers. It's just like that. The mannequins taking them over and they're becoming different people. And now some, some of them are going out and they're going to take over the world. And of course my husband and I were like, okay, he might be having, you know, some sort of drug alcohol related psychosis going on. So, um, Yeah. But he was adamant, it's happening, he, he, very upset. So my husband, so I, I said to him, you know what? Well, I'll go check it out then. And uh, my husband's like, you know, 
okay, you know what, let me, Chris, just let me get you, let me get you back, back to your place. Maybe we'll get you some coffee, you know, still under the impression that, uh, somebody had a little too much to drink and now maybe he's having some sort of psychotic break or hallucination, that sort of thing. But, you know, I agree to go check it out. So I go because supposedly, uh, from what Chris was saying is that, um, this mall gathering, uh, was where it was happening. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay. So, uh, again, it's kind of late at night. Um, so my husband takes Chris back to his place. I head on out and, uh, as I'm approaching, um, I decide, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not just going to walk up and be like, Hey, so are y'all being taken over by some sort of mannequin alien that's here to take over the world? Ha ha ha. No, you know, Chris, ha ha, la la la. Right. Um, didn't want to do that. I wanted, you know, just low key and nobody needs to know. Um, because I was absolutely convinced that, you know, he just drank too much and was having an episode. So, um, it, so I take it a little seriously. So, you know, I go up, I don't, uh, I'm actually behind some, you know, fake plants in the mall and, um, behind a pillar and that sort of thing. And I look and sure enough, they're all kind of, the mannequin is laying down and all the mall employees are now laying around the mannequin in a circle. They're all kind of on their side. Some are on their front, just looking at it. And what's happening is there's this black fibrous stuff that's coming out of the mannequin's head and it's going into all the heads of the people that are around it. And I, you know, from the distance, I couldn't see anything. So in the dream, what happened is I kind of paused the dream uh, and I, I left my character and I froze the scene and I went and I took a look and what it was is it wasn't a continuous line. If you've ever seen little, um, magnetic black fibers, uh, it was a bunch of those, uh, just kind of all strung together, uh, that came from inside the mannequin. And, uh, yeah, it, it was going like right into the heads of, uh, the people that were around, and it wasn't like a full on invasion of the body snatchers where, uh, you know, your body is being morphed into something that looks like you, but isn't you. It was like penetrating their skulls and, and, um, cause again, in, when I had paused the dream and left my character, I, uh, took a, a deeper look and, uh, from what I gathered is the black fibers went in and in essence kind of hijacked your brain. And that's how this alien species was going to be taking over the world. Um, because what also was happening is those that had reached a certain saturation level would then leave the mall and go out and spread it from there. So, um, I jumped back into, uh, my character's body and I book it out of there, right? Making sure I wasn't seen because they're all in the trance circle thing with the black stuff in the brain. Anyways, so I hightail it back over and uh, my husband's coming out of Chris's unit and uh, he's saying to me, oh, he's... Uh, he, he's not doing well, but he is doing well. He's like, it's, it's weird. It's like the guy has a, you know, an, an episode here. He has some sort of drunk induced hallucination and you should see him. He's trying to walk. He's pulled out some free weights. He's trying to get back in shape because he said that the invasion's coming. And my husband went on to say like, you know, on the one hand, I'm, ha I'm happy because apparently, uh, he's, he's also sworn off alcohol. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's gung ho to, to now get better, deal with his issues. And, and so he, my husband's going on about how, you know, how this, this weird, bad, you know, drunk episode has actually led to some positive life impacts. And of course I turned to my husband and I say, no, it's real. <laughs> and he's like, what, honey? No, it's it, no. I'm like, yeah, no, it is. I saw it. It's actually happening. 
And so my husband's like, uh, okay, like what, what is this? What is going on? So I described to him what I saw. And, uh, so we both went back, snuck back, took a look and, uh, sure enough, he saw the whole thing. So we came back and we were having this discussion of, well, what are we going to do? Who do we contact? Like, so we decided we just can't just phone up somebody and say, hey, there's a mannequin from outer space that is hijacking people's brains and is going to infect the world and take over the human species. You know, guaranteed, <laughs> you're, you're going to get uh, probably sent off to uh, a psychiatric hospital and highly medicated for uh, contacting the police or the police, army, whatever, just going to hang up on you. So we decide that um, we're going to get security cameras and we're going to try to capture this. So um, we're going, uh, we're making a plan. We were heading back to our place. It's like, okay, you know, you do this, I'll do that, blah, blah, blah. And uh, again, I had stopped the dream uh, and realized, oh, I don't have time for this. My alarm's going to go off soon. I got to get up for work. So, oh, well, I'll just have to deal with this later. And then I woke myself up from the dream. So sure enough, I grabbed my phone, I checked the time and it was, yeah, about uh, 20 minutes before my alarm went off. Yeah, definitely not a time to finish off this sci-fi alien invasion dream I was having. <laughs> so that's my dream. Um, yeah, I, you know. I know people ask me like, what did you eat before you went to bed? Or like, what, what were you watching before you went to bed? And I got to tell you, uh, what I ate before I went to bed was nothing. I, I had some water. Um, yeah, prior to that, <laughs> I had dinner at, at my normal time, which was like, I don't know, five, six o'clock. Um, yeah, so no snacks before bed. And as far as what I was watching, I actually watched a thing on the Disneyland reopening. So very wholesome. <laughs> nothing, nothing involving aliens hijacking people's brains with magnetic fiber stuff. So yeah, that's it. Maybe that's where Chris Hemsworth came in. Um, because, um, they did the Avengers campus. So and Thor is part of the Avengers. So maybe that's where that part came in. But the rest, I have no idea. So um, just to let you know, I have not been able to pick that dream back up. Um, sometimes I can pick dreams back up where I left off. Sometimes I can't. And in this case, um, I didn't. So um, but I did wind up waking up from that dream going, you know, that'd be a pretty cool movie. It would totally be like a B movie, but it would totally be, yeah, I'd watch it. I'd watch that movie. Well, and, and in essence, I kind of did watch that movie just, yeah, in my head while I was sleeping. Alrighty. So I hope you found this entertaining and I hope you guys stay safe, happy and healthy, and I'll talk to you next week. Okay. Bye.